You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for March 28th. It is Tech Thursday. I'm Andy. Janelle, uh, we discussed before the episode started recording, she needs to be in the front of the classroom because sometimes, um, or a few times this week, it feels like she wasn't quite paying attention. (laughs) Whatever. Come on. (laughs) Give me a break. Okay, uh, Jen, you have a rebellious teenager here. And as the mother of the group, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, I have a 17 year old and that's kind of how he talks when I'm like, hey, buddy, um, maybe you can get better than a C minus in this class. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you really call him buddy? <laughs> what do I call him? I don't even know. I'm just like, hey, <laughs> usually, well, usually our conversations now start with a big sigh. <laughs> for both of us. Yikes. I'll go. I knock on his door, I go. <sighs> hey, so I was looking at your grades. And then he's like on his keyboard with the mouse. What? Hey, buddy. I might actually say. Is that what's happening? Uh, <sighs> boy, there's a sigh. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Too soon, the PTSD. Oh, boy. Tech Thursday. The theft of a giant radio t- tower has silenced what used to be the voice of a small Alabama town in the surrounding county. In Jasper, Alabama. Is that near you, Janelle? No, no, no. No, no, I'm in Oklahoma. But Alabama is closer to Oklahoma than it is Minnesota. So That's true. That is true. You are closer than us. Okay. In that respect, you're right. Thieves made off with a 200-foot tower. Whoa. I'm trying to figure out how you do that. The theft was discovered February 2nd when a maintenance crew arrived in the wooded area where the tower once stood and found it gone. Where do you hide that kind of a... uh, (laughs) And they took all the equipment. Man, those mm. truck beds are getting longer and longer. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder how long it took them because it was discovered yeah. in a second. Right. Well, and here's the thing. Once the radio station tower is down, the radio station is no longer on the air. Right. Right. So as so soon how as long was it running? <laughs> how long was the radio station off the air? No one cared. <laughs> That's always oh. my worry. If I ever have a moment of dead air on my show, I think. Uh, either do people think it's a good thing that I'm no longer on the air? <laughs> that station that has been on the air since the mid fifties. That's sad. That's sad. Well, and the general manager Brett Elmore. Let's see, I got to do my best Southern voice. Oh boy, here no, we go. We're good. <laughs> Seems like a mistake. You can still turn back. <laughs> it's not too late. You don't have to. You don't have to go down that path. We won't even don't mention it. I need. I always. I always. Need to, I need a starter word for my for my southern voice. What's the southern? You don't. No, you're good. Southern. No, it's okay. No. Island. That is. That is the best course of action right now. I gotta get my. I gotta get my sweet tea. Oh, to oh, break no. into my building and steal all my equipment <laughs> and the tower. You sound obviously like he didn't have some kind of. Bad. Hey. Uh, off air alarm, you know, <laughs> don't all radio stations have that kind of thing? I don't I mean, know. Like seriously. this guy doesn't. I mean, I remember at least, I mean, you could do it on the cheap because, you know, we worked at a station where everything was on the cheap and it was literally yeah. a, <clears throat> it was hooked up to an old clock radio. Remember that? What was mm-hmm. that? And then it, when the station had silence and it happened a lot because again, we worked at a station where everything was done on the cheap. <laughs> The 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 uh, just... the clock alarm would go off or something. I just remember it being in the hallway, <laughs> and it was like one of those old digital ones, you know, that you used to have. Yeah, I yeah. That. You don't remember that? It wasn't by Amazing. your office. It was by the on-air people's office, by the other office. The important the DJ, mm-hmm. the, the DJ, DJ office. Mm-hmm. I think I just blocked it all. You ever out. notice? How Jen and I were both DJs and we were never included in the DJ office. Oh, we never noticed that. That's no, I, I, we never that, counted that you got more work done because you weren't in that office. That was really? the you know, the people that are in that office, it was me, 
Shawn Michaels. Uh huh. Or naming names. Well, I mean, <laughs> I love Shawn Michaels. He's my friend. But Shawn Michaels also is successful in reading the entire internet every day. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> All right, inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. My favorite um, story is. I'll, I'll I'll widen it out. Names to protect the innocent, but there was there was there was a bunch of people that they they put us all in this giant room. So there's a bunch of people in there. One person decided to put their desk towards the front as they were facing the 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 door that the entryway. So they looked like they were the receptionist of the room, <laughs> but they didn't. But there was no need for a receptionist. It was just they didn't want anyone to see. Mm-hmm. their computer screen when they walked in so they couldn't mm-hmm. uh verify that they were were or were not doing work at the time i mean that's what i used to do <laughs> when i worked well, maybe we wanted to read the internet you know <laughs> well someone has to do it <laughs> if nobody if you put something on the internet and no one reads it does it exist yeah. or listens to it like this podcast does it exist? Oh, We've man. had a whole 300 <laughs> plays, man. Hey! Okay, so this radio station, oh, they man. don't know. They, 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 the, threat was, the theft was reported on February 2nd, but the date and time the crime was not known. And, well, and, they've and, been gone for who knows? like a month, and they just kept going wow. like nothing was wrong. Now these guys, this guy also has a GoFundMe, but I am not. Even though I did give to the the GoFundMe <laughs> yesterday, I'm not. I'm not going to start giving to every single GoFundMe that we talk about. I can't do it. I've okay, if you talk in another accent this episode, you have to give to it. That's what. Who makes? How did you? This is a consequence. It's not a rule. <laughs> Your behavior. Okay. So does that mean I get well, one impersonation per episode? You won't learn unless there are consequences. Does that mean I get one impersonation per episode? No. no, I'm not making rules with you right now. I'm setting a standard for this episode alone. <laughs> what if like, you've had the same conversation with your children? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I really <laughs> like it. I want to do it. I understand you like it. And that's okay that you like it, but we're not going to do it this episode. You understand? Wow. But next time? Do I get to do it next time? We'll talk about it next time. We're not talking about that right now. Wow. <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> well, I don't want to do this anymore, then. That's the nugget. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. So bring me joy out of this podcast. Goodness. <laughs> You, please wow. okay let me know <laughs> accents yes or no nugget hate mail or gmail.com excellent the answer is no and and may, maybe uh, i'm willing to compromise maybe we come up with a with an acceptable amount <laughs> that's greater than zero <laughs> greater than zero that's all i ask you cleared that up okay <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him a limited number of words <laughs> Sam, can you really you do be... an accent if there's only three words allowed oh I can come up with an accent with three words oh, I'm sure you can you, do, you, problem. Want, you want to <laughs> <laughs>